Hello, good morning. I'm Stephen in the garden again, and it's a bank holiday Monday today, August bank holiday. Uh, it's a nice warm day, it rained a bit this morning, but uh, it's a bit overcast. At least it gives us a chance to work without having that hot sunshine to work in. Anyway, I'll show you what we've been doing today. We've got Mark who's come in today, and Mark's been doing this job for us. Look, let me show you this. So, the curry plants, what he's done is given it going over them with a pair of shears giving them a nice tight trim now what he's done there by doing that he's taken all the dead flowers off and he's compacted it into a tight ball now if you don't if you leave it then what happens is these branches come further out and they'll get all leggy and sloppy and they'll all start to fall all over the place he's also done the same with the lavender there and with the rosemary and with that curry plant and you can see with this curry plant coming up here He's been doing exactly the same with that. If you've got any plants out in your garden that is uh, gone over, the flowers have gone over, give it a trim back. It's a good time to do it once it's finished flowering, especially with shrubs. Anyway, you can see what, see how much better that looks. So, if you're looking for something to do in your garden today, go and have a look for shrubs that have gone over. Uh, woody things where the flowers are finished you can chop them off because they're not going to look any prettier now so you may as well get it chopped off now what happens is uh, they start to produce the buds for the flowers for next year straight away or well, almost straight away so as soon as they finish flowering it's the best time to chop back most shrubs anyway from here in the garden hope you'll have a lovely day get out and get some fresh air and exercise if you can do bye